probably sounded pretty terrible. Uh, in fact, I'm not a very good guitar player at all. But anywho, this is my kid's guitar. And, uh, you know, one of the good things about guitar is they make noise. Uh, the bad thing about guitar is, well, where do you store the things when you're not playing on them? It's kind of uh, hard to put them somewhere. So, I figured for today's hack, we'd try and figure out somewhere where we would stick this thing uh, to mount it. Now, most purchasable, purchasable, the things you buy, yeah, buyable, buyable, purchasable, yeah, purchasable, that's a word, surely. Uh, anywho, most of the things that you buy to hold guitars, well, they hold them by the neck here, somewhat like that. So, uh, two little bits that come up and, and hold that. So, I forgot to give that a crack. Now, I've got a little bit of this uh, PVC conduit floating around the place, 20 mils, plastic, and I figured maybe that might work, might work, to hold the guitar. Might not, yeah, it might not, but hey, let's give it a shot. All right, let me put this somewhere safe, like over there and out of the way. Okay, got a bit of board. Got two of these, I don't think I need them even near this long, but I'll cut them down a little bit. And what I figured I'm gonna try and do is use a hole saw, uh, mainly because my, um, my speed bores, which would be a much better use, um, that's 22 and that's 14, and the pipe I've got is 20 mils. So that's a 19 mil hole saw and that's a 22 mil hole saw, but it's not actually 22 mils, it's actually only about 21. So I'm thinking that one might work. Um, so actually, you know what? Get a bit of scrap wood here and give it a shot. So, uh, mount that on, okay, I won't mount that on there. What I'll do is I'll get the right pieces out of the box. Because apparently, with the smaller ones, you can't mount them with the drill bit in the middle. All right, well, the things we learned once we actually put a camera on. Okay, there we go, that's through there. And then I will mount the screw cap on the top of it, I believe. There we go. And I will just make sure that that is nice and tight because I don't really want it coming off in my fingers. Right, so that is the smaller one. We will put that into here. This might get a bit noisy. Right, um, grab another bit of scrap wood just to put underneath and let's just give this a shot. Okay, there's a problem. How are you supposed to use these? That's not going to work. Alright, throw that problem out. Um, I don't know how you're supposed to use those ones. Uh, let's try the speed ball because you know what I just want to get this done and the speed ball I know will actually go through Because it would help if my speed ball was actually sharp. Uh, I hit a nail with it the other day and it's no longer sharp. Yeah, that's not going to work. Right, well there goes that project. Um, so, uh, let's see what else we can figure out. So, that's not going to work. I'll throw those away. Um, let's put that over there. Okay, I've got my bit of wood here and I want to mount the guitar piece to it. So, uh, maybe, maybe all we need couple bits of small wood mounted on top like that and that might be enough to actually hold the guitar actually you know what that might actually just work I've got a, a reasonably nice piece of wood here um, which I could mount to the top of a piece of wood that I could screw to the wall and that might might hold it. I could come out straight 
I'm going on a slow angle. And that could potentially hold the wood where I want it to be. Okay, let's give that a shot. So, uh, how deep do I need it? I need it to be um, that deep. Alright, so that's the depth of the guitar, which is, he says, looking for his uh, ruler, which of course is never where he wanted it to be. Um, ruler, ruler, ruler. Where's my blooming ruler gone? Oh, I know where it was. I'll put it in my toolkit. Of course, I put it somewhere where I'd remember where it was. Okay, so that line there was 70. So if I go 100 mils, 100 mils will give me enough off there to give me 70 off the front of that. That would work nicely. Then I could drill that, tap that, put it on top of there, and be done with it. So Square, set my square to square, Get my pencil, mark 100 mils from the end, which is there. Okay, I've got a 100 mil line on there now. So now I actually want to find the other one of those that I had as well, um, which is right here. So you've got two of those marked off at 100 mils. Alright, I'm going to cut those and to do that I'm going to use a skill saw. Safety first. Glasses on. I can't hear you anymore. And then we put this on and we'll put this in here. Yeah, this is overkill, I get it, but hey, uh, I'm going to put this in the oh, vice on this side of his head. Like that. This will be a bit noisy, so for those of you on headphones, put your fingers in your ears. Sorry, there's not much else I can do. Right, Take those edges down a little bit, a bit like that. Right, that'll work. And again, just going to take the edges off there like that. Right now, this piece is 170 long. So when I went to school, half of 70 was 35 and half of 100 was 50 so that would make 85 so 85 will be the middle of this um, and yeah I do math really weird but hey it works right that's the middle of that now the guitar neck at that point where I wanted to pinch is about 45 yeah exactly 45 wide so again uh, half of five was two and a half, and half of uh, 40 was 20, so that would make 22 and a half, 21, 22 and a half, which would make 45. Okay, so that's the mark for my outside edges. Right, so I've got the three marks there, that's the, the, the middle of the bit of wood. Yeah, and then the two outside edges. So if I was to mount these to there, like, 
get the right bits of wood, Kieran. Uh, if I'm to mount them like that. In fact, actually, I can probably go that way. Yeah, let's go that way. Much better idea. Go like that, and then I'll have a nice little stand. Okay, cool. So, now what I need is a couple of um, screws. So, let me just reach over to here, and I'll grab a couple of screws. Now, to stop it moving around, I'm really going to go over here, because I always do with these sort of things. Right. Put that into there. Now, because these are very small pieces of wood, we always want to make sure that we are screwing our wood together. Um, sorry, we want to make sure we're drilling the wood before we screw it together so that we don't split the wood. Uh, and I'm thinking that a 3mm bit, oh, this Ryobi thing, it just sticks something shocking. Oh, maybe there's a hack of that one though. Uh, great tools, love them. But, um, anywho, right. Spin that out. Right, okay, let's do this. So, I'm going to put um, one right there and one right there. Okay. Need my screwdriver and I need a square bit because these are square bit screws. Put that on top of there. Start screwing that one into the hole where it was. Now potentially what I should have done as well was to countersink these, but I haven't, so it might by counter sinking. Um, oh, I lost a light. Oh dear. One of my lights just died. I'm using these cool little lights and I will review them one day, but um, for some reason that one just turned off. Okay, that's fine. It's working great. There we're back again. Okay, cool. Now we want to do this other one, so I'm going to make sure that that sits about there. Um, Alrighty, got those two in there. And let's screw this in there. Shame. Um, hmm. Or literally, it's out of battery and it just needs to be recharged, which is highly likely as well. And what I could do then is swap that. One moment, Paula. Your call is important to us while we rejig our lights. Let's try that and then this one. Pretty sure there's a little charge wire over here. Put that in there. Yep, it was out. So uh, they can just charge for a little bit. All right, so in theory, crude is all heck, but we've got a guitar holder. So let's just see if it works. Um, now, I'm not keen to do this over the, uh, over the floor per se, but let's put that on there like that and hold it up a little bit and well what do you know it actually works that's pretty cool alrighty so now I'll go and mount that in the kids bedroom on the wall and we'll have a guitar holder there you go that's the hack for the day thanks for watching if you like that subscribe I might make some more you never know cheers <laughs> <laughs>